going on another tour of Iraq. John Haycock is back in our hot seat and about to go for $25,000. Congratulations, John. Yesterday, I said I wasn't going to let you forget about that tattoo that you said if you passed the audition, you were going to get my name somewhere in your body, depending on how much money you made, the size of the tattoo, the location of the tattoo, the whole thing. We're going for $25,000. At $25,000, where will you put it? $25,000 will buy a lot of tattoo, but I want to leave some room for movement. So let's just start with the bicep. Twenty five will be the bicep. Yeah, okay. and we'll see where you go from there. All right. All right. But at the end, you were talking Mount Rushmore across the chest, just so we have all that. For maybe, hey, maybe even a front and back view on the back. Who knows? Front and back view. All right. A million dollars <laughs> can make you crazy. All right, John. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. You're actually a really good guy. It's your second tour of duty in Iraq. We're wishing you the best. Thank we you. want to send you home with a lot of money. And you're doing great. You're just six questions away from the million dollars. Those are the categories you're about to face. I hope you like what you see. If you don't, you still have three lifelines to help you out. You phone a friend, double dip, and also ask the expert. And today our expert is former $500,000 millionaire winner, Jeff Gross, who we can see at his home in Los Angeles. Hey, Jeff, good to see you. Jeff is there for you, John, and I'm here for you, too, with this Capital One check for $1 million. Look good? Great. <laughs> well, then, are you ready? I am ready. Let's Audience, go. are you ready? <laughs> All right, John. 30 seconds on the clock. This is for $25,000. A beautiful mind. The 1988 movie Rain Man features a memorable scene in which the gifted title character instantly counts a pile of spilled what? BB pellets, aspirin, toothpicks, thumbtacks. I've seen the movie. I wasn't sure, but then I saw it as an option. It's, it's got to be C, toothpicks, final answer. I'm on your bicep right now, baby. <laughs> Now I'm moving to your thigh? Wow. Oh, it's larger. Uh, more space. <laughs> let's, more space. Let's stop there. <laughs> um, all right, John, five away from a million dollars, going for $50,000. We are now going to put 45 seconds on the clock. Who done it? In the Sherlock Holmes tale, The Adventure of the Lion's Mane, the murderer is revealed to be a lion's mane, which is what type of animal? Scorpion, bee, jellyfish, shark. I'm gonna ask the expert because I know I don't know this. Oh, very good then. Right, right call for you. Stopping the clock at 37 seconds, and we're gonna bring in our expert, Jeff Gross, with a free face-to-face -face Skype and video call. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Meredith. All set? Okay, yes, um, I am. All right, John's going for $50,000, and I'm going to feed you the question now. Okay. Um, to me, a lion's mane sounds like a kind of fish, but that's all I can give you. I really don't know the answer to this question. I haven't read the book. Um, if I had double dip, uh, uh, let's see. I, I just don't, I mean, B would be the least likely to me. If, if I were in your position, I'd be thinking jellyfish or shark. But do you have any idea? What do well, you think? Well, it seems though if it was in the water, you'd have an idea of how someone got killed by a jellyfish or a shark. So that's why uh, I was saying it was scorpion or B, something more innocuous, hence the mystery. Okay. Yeah, that could be. Unfortunately, I've never read the book, so I can't really help you. But, uh, you know, I, I wish I could rule out some stuff for you, but I can't. I really can't. All right, Jeff. Well, thank you. He's being honest with you there. He was leaning towards jellyfish, but you made sense to him as well. You have 37 seconds. Time starts now. I'm going to have to phone a friend. Okay. Stopping that clock again at 35 seconds. Let's see who you have standing by. And there they are, your friend Rick, your brother Joe, and your friend Jay. Who's it going to be? Uh, I think I'm going to go with Jay. Your friend Jay, okay? We're gonna get Jay on the line. 
Hello? Hey, Jay, it's Meredith from Millionaire. How are you? Excellent. How are you? I am great. You know, I'm sitting here with John, as you know, and he needs your help. Jay, he's going for $50,000. He's stumped on this question. All right, well, we'll do what we can. I know you will. All right, John, you have 30 seconds. Your time starts now. What is a lion's mane? It's a type of animal. Lion's, S apostrophe, or apostrophe S, mane, M-A-N-E. What is a lion's mane? Yeah, it's some kind of animal. It's in a Sherlock Holmes tale. You can give him the choices if you want. John, you can read him the choices. You know, scorpion, bee, shark, jellyfish. I am thinking. Sorry. Um, Sorry. Oh. oh no, is right. I know. All right, I am thinking, and then he ran out of time. You have 35 seconds. The clock starts now. Well, I gotta go with the double dip. Okay, we're gonna stop the clock at 33 seconds. Totally safe, because you have 25. You can't leave with less than that. Can I have your first answer, please? I'm thinking a B, because of the color of a mane and maybe the color of a B. So I'm gonna go with B, B. Final answer. Final. Not B. It's not B. Still have 33 seconds. Starting now. Then based on the shape, I'm gonna go with jellyfish, final. Jellyfish it is. You have $100,000. Way to go, John, way to go. John's playing for $100,000 for that. one check for 50000 That's going on your thigh, Meredith, right? That's what you said? Sure, sure. Okay. More space, bigger. Now we're going for 100000 That means where? Uh, you know, I'm running out of spaces. Uh, maybe we could do two arms. Two arms? All right. I'm working with that. That's fine. That, uh, that's good for me. All kidding aside, though, we mentioned that you're on your way to Iraq, second tour of duty. $50,000, a tremendous amount of money for your own peace of mind, for you and for your folks. And glad to help you out with that, John. Oh, yeah. All right, John, let's take a look at this board. Four away from a million, going for 100000 Take a look at those last categories. Richard Belzer is up next. You told me in the break you watch a lot of TV. You felt maybe a little bit good about that one. So what do you say? Are you ready to play? Sure, let's go. All right, let's play. <laughs> 45 seconds on the clock. This is for $100,000, Richard Belzer. TV actor Richard Belzer has played Detective John Munch on all but which of these shows? Scrubs, Law and Order, Trial by Jury, Arrested Development, The X-Files. That's a toughie. I don't know. Let's see, two or Fox. Scrubs does a lot of weird stuff. Boy, I wish I had a lifeline. Fifteen seconds. You know what though? It's found money. B, final answer. Nope. Not B. It was. It was Scrubs, which does do a lot of odd stuff, but not that one. But you know what? Twenty-five thousand dollars. As you said, you didn't have anything when you came in here. John, congratulations. Thank you, and all the best, Mr. Rock. We'll all be thinking of you.